Good afternoon, this is Doc Gilbert with another in a series of videos regarding the ringside management of cuts designed for people that are presently doing cut work or those of you who might be interested in becoming involved in doing cut work. Last week in Atlantic City, I was approached by a husband and wife, both of whom asked the question, what do I typically bring to work cuts? So for those two nice people, Francisco and Maria, here's the video. First and foremost, keep in mind that everything that you're going to bring should be in an adequate supply for the just-in-case situations. With that in mind, if it's a critical item, typically I bring two. So let's get started. First, we have tape and gauze, disposable gloves, a pair of scissors, ice bag, in this case there are two, end swells, in this case there are two, Vaseline, a large supply, and ample supply, adrenaline in the strength of one to 1,000, in an unopened and current dated vial, I typically bring two. In order to use the adrenaline, you will need a syringe with a needle, and I would recommend that you watch the other videos that I've made regarding using and preparing adrenaline so that you can use it safely and not become injured in the process. A supply of swabs that will get you through the number of fights that you plan on working for that uh, event. Along with those swabs, you're going to want to have gauze. We use the gauze around the swabs so that in the case you need to apply it over the eye, any adrenaline dripping will be caught by the gauze and not drip into the eye. Within these packets are Avatine little pads, which obviously are going to remain sealed for the purposes of this demonstration, but they're in there and they're important to have. An ice bag with two compartments or two small ice bags, one to put the swabs in and then the other side to put ice in. And finally, you'll need, if there's no ice bucket provided, you'll need a disposable bag or a bucket in order to bring ice to the ringside. Typically, I will keep the ice bags, the Vaseline, and the end swells in the ice so that they remain cold. Finally, we have a towel that we're going to use to wipe any cut before we assess and treat it. And I think that about does it. If you have any questions regarding this or any other matter uh, with my presentations on addressing cuts at the ringside, feel free to contact me at nycutman at gmail.com. Thank you for your time.